guys. Well, another day in paradise here. And uh, it's starting to get a little bit windy. I don't know if you can see that in the background there, but uh, certainly the flag blowing. So things here are getting uh, a lot tighter in regards to being able to get out and go to shops like supermarkets if you uh, don't have uh, the procedure, which makes life a little bit like, difficult, but um, annoying, I suppose. It's a major inconvenience. So uh, my spidey senses are uh, starting to get a little bit uh, concerned, to be honest, because I <laughs> can kind of see where this is gonna go. And uh, I'm not sure that it's going to end well. As much as uh, we saw that video yesterday with massive protests and massive stones being thrown at uh, right, I'm not sure that that's going to be enough to quell the, uh, the hell that is going to ensue. It's going to be an interesting time. As I said to you yesterday, my strategy is the PT Five Flags, perpetual travel of Five Flags. Not that I want to be perpetually traveling, but um, certainly want to have bases and options to be able to go to different you know venues if I need to and I sort of say that to people as well it's the hard thing is is that not everybody's got the resources to be able to do that and uh, I've been really reluctant to actually advise people on uh, you know coming to Europe and uh, as much as I've been bullish on that in the past I'm not, uh, I'm not convinced of things at the moment. I think things are gonna get a lot more difficult. So yes, I'm looking at other options at the moment. Um, I have one or two up my sleeve and I might share that with you in a couple of weeks once things are sort of more solidified. I'll know exactly what's happening. Um, so we're in, in that sort of position. I'm even thinking about doing a newsletter uh, and you know sort of charging people maybe ten ten dollars maybe ten euro a month to subscribe purely because there's a lot of work and time that goes into <laughs> the research and things have changed so i don't want to advise people to go any particular place i basically just want to spend the time do the research so you've got the best options available to you so you know the information that i've got mulling over in my brain and uh, you can get some of the conclusions that I'm coming to, rather than um, you know work on other things at this point in time. I think we're getting to a point where things are getting really difficult, and uh, we need to stay abreast of uh, what's happening. I certainly, think that there's uh, some uh, strategized implementation. Uh, being enacted at the moment and my gut feeling is that it's an implementation of a new global cryptocurrency instead of uh, the uh, reserve currency of the US and a new global implementation of a crypto taxation system basically the two would work hand in hand and um, once you earn money in say crypto you would already be taxed before it even hit your bank account uh, connected with that i think is what they're trying to bring out with this new uh, smart digital id and that's going to all work together to uh, implement greater control so you'll have health passports you'll have basically and i've been saying this for maybe almost 10 years there was a presentation I did in 2013, I think, and um, and I basically said there's there's going to be a new global taxation system and a new um, a new global currency enabled by blockchain technology. So look, so anyway, this stuff is is really on the um, on the cusp at the moment, and I think that's where we're going, and. You know, I hate to be negative about it, but I just don't like the idea of um, some major corporation working with a government, whether federal or local, to, to basically track everything that I say, everything I do, every dollar that I spend, and then link that to some carbon, carbon credit system so that they can limit the amount of money that I can spend every month, as like uh, Schwabby said. 
uh, by the year 2030 you'll own nothing and never be happier because uh, you'll probably be dead. Um, you know, it's just sad and tragic and we've been here before and, um, you know, yeah, so anyway, it's just difficult times all around and I don't want to be negative, but I'm just saying to people, look, get your head around things, start looking at it. It's time to be agile. You cannot sort of sit there and say, oh, I'm going to live here for the next uh, 20 years or live out my retirement like this. Uh, it's just uh, not going to work that way. That's not the time or the era that we're in at the moment. Really, I think World War Three has already begun. I think it began with the, uh, the dreaded uh, Chaikom virus. And um, I think that's symptomatic of where things are going. So I think we're in World War Three now. I think it's already begun. It hasn't turned out to be a kinetic conflict yet, but give it time. I think we're on the cusp of that at the moment. So uh, within the next 12 months, I wouldn't be surprised if a few shots were fired. But this is certainly a global uh, implementation of a new strategy and uh, infrastructure systems that they uh, want to basically control everything, every aspect of your life. And uh, it'll be done in the guise of you know, uh, looking after the environment and making sure of uh, public health and safety or whatever. So yeah, just keep that in mind when you're looking at this stuff. And, um, we're in difficult times. We're heading for really difficult times at the moment. So uh, as I said, I'm going to uh, start uh, looking at some of this stuff and I will uh, let you know if I um, come up with anything interesting. But uh, I might do a uh, monthly newsletter and then charge people a fee for it because basically it's my time and energy that's gone into it. So uh, yeah, nothing's for free, right? So, uh, but I don't. The reason why I'm taking a different tact is because uh, because I don't want to say one particular location is going to be better than another. It's just not. I, I just can't see that at the moment. It's going to be um, information dependent as to where you go, when you go, how you go. And, um, you know, some people say you can't outrun it. I'll give it a bloody good try. So, uh, just remember, it costs a lot of money to implement a lot of this infrastructure and a lot of these systems. And some of these countries don't have those resources and the citizenry don't uh, like it. Anyway, right now I'm in the, mar the meat markets. So this is where you buy your meat in the heart of Athens. And the next aisle over is where people buy all their fish. And across the road, behind me, is the uh, fruit markets. So anyway, thanks for watching and uh, we'll shoot another video in the next couple of days, hopefully with a bit more information to share. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and uh, so that's uh, Overseas Exiles. We're also on Rumble now, so I've just started a Rumble account. So if that suits you better, then go over there. And uh, the forum.overseasexiles.com is available, so jump on there and uh, uh, join the discussion. It's going to be interesting time, so stay tuned. Don't miss a, a thing. <laughs> it's going to be very interesting. All right, guys.